What is going on guys? It's your boy Mazu from Platinum Heroes and today we are back with some more Spectrum series action. You know it, I know it. You already know just by looking at the logo that's spinning around this blue command center what we're going to have over here. Yes, we are casting yet another Terran versus Terran from this player in the bottom right side of ocean board we are looking at the main command center of none other than the korean han mono going up against somebody called i looked it up i have no idea who this is seems like a normal account not someone else's account and i'm not familiar with this player but we're gonna have our red oakham or oakham oak oakham i'm not sure how to pronounce it i'm sorry if i butchered the name but yes, we are once again back and I'm so freaking excited. Yet another Terran versus Terran. We're going to have uh, super standard openers uh, on the side of both players. Han Mono is a bit more on the economic side. He is going to go into a Reaper fast expand build. While uh, Occam is going to do the, I guess, a bit more standard uh 111 with reapers and looks like it's gonna be a cyclone and also of course double gas and i'm pretty sure this is going to be yeah there it is the starport now this factory is going to be a tad bit late for han mono we have another marine as well i'm trying to see where the reaper is the reaper is um basically just chilling you know and i would say this is gonna be cyclones there we go double cyclone opener for han mono second gas of course after the factory so looks like this is uh either a i'm not sure i don't think it's gonna be... i don't think it's a random player right i mean i'm uh, i don't think it is i feel like i i saw the loading screen my apologies and it was a super standard terran versus terran loading screen so yeah, I'm uh, I'm actually curious what this is. I also have no confirmation if the uh, re what do you call it the replay system actually allows you to see the random on the loading screen. But if somebody knows it in the comments, feel free to let me know. Now please let me know would be really really good. We're gonna have a tank a Raven opener on the side of Oakham, and we're going to have you know, potentially the same thing on the side of Han Mono, at least for now it is looking like it's going to be uh oh, we have a SCV that's lost its life, it is what it is so by the looks of it it's going to be pretty much the same uh, style, except it's going to be Cyclones for Han Mono, but it's going to be a Raven style let's see, we have uh, Interference Matrix, I don't see, there we go now we see the Interference Matrix as well is this going to be like a mass cyclone type of uh, opener from Han Mono, I wonder? Also, guys, don't forget to hydrate. 100%. Oh, I am quite excited, to be honest. I am super, super excited for, for this game. If you paid attention to the Mousecast channel in the past few weeks, uh, I kind of posted quite a lot of uh, Han Mono games and... and yeah, Han Mono is just, you know, Han Mono. <laughs> he is actually a sick Terran player. Like, he loves to do weird shenanigans. He is not afraid of microing. He's not afraid of uh, doing things like, you know, rushing uh, something uncommon and then just macroing out, out of it casually. Uh, let me see. Just making sure that everything works as intended. So yeah, everything looks to be... Uh oh, wait a second. We're gonna have a bit of a mech playstyle transition over here. Uh, I was gonna say we should get the stim, but I obviously saw that the barracks uh, lifted for that tech lab. And I, I'll be honest, I did not pay attention uh, if stim started or not, or what add-on uh, went onto that barracks. Now, a couple of Vikings are coming in for, for Oakham. And it's a double starport play over here. Uh, interesting. We're going to have three Vikings at a time. Potentially that's the only thing that uh, they can afford. So nothing too fancy. We have nine Cyclones. Usually usually they say like it's nine Roaches, you know. It's a nine Roach build. Han Mono says, hold my beer. 
I'm gonna do it with the uh, Terran type of roach. No, just the well-rounded, pretty cool cyclone. This marine will spot the move out and Han Mono will be able to run by potentially. Uh, we don't have any upgrades for those cyclones, meaning there's no 1-1 one, one on the way. There's not even a couple of armor. There's no armories at all. So, uh, what is going to happen over here? Han Mono is going to disturb the whole freaking hell out of this uh, turn player. It takes out the reactor, but the problem is this 3cc play will probably uh, get shut down. Guys, there's a couple of auto turrets and Vikings landed over here. The tank is going to be out right now, and this is looking like a freaking base raid. What is going on here? Uh-oh. And honestly, you don't really want to base raid against Han Mono, because Han Mono tries on Chaos. I'm pretty sure uh, that's what he has for breakfast and for lunch as well. Potentially has something else, something uh, better for dinner, but... Oh, <laughs> no, maybe if it's not chaos, then it's probably going to be these type of Terran players. And Oka looks to actually commit to this base trade. He has Vikings, and now Han Mono tries to take down uh, this command center. It is burning. Han Mono has 20 SCVs left. And he has... Does he have three command centers? Nope. One command center goes out in the main. One command center still lives through in the in the midst of the chaos has a hundred plus energy so would it su be surprised if Han Mono would just drop a couple of mules to repair these but I believe it's not gonna be the case the CC will go down and this third command center is actually flying away so Han Mono will preserve at least one of them he has 17 SCVs to the two of Oakham supplies are quite uh, equal and I'm not exactly sure now Question, should we swap the plates over here? Because now the, the tables have turned, by the looks of it. You know what, Let, let's just do this. By the looks of it, both players are trying to occupy a, a base. There's a starport over here, and now Han Mono just rebuilds everything, pretty much. Builds the barracks, of course, you need that to unlock all the tech, uh, tech stuff. You can still build turrets over here, I believe. Those Vikings should not be able to do anything about it in that case. Everything uh, looks to to be taken down over here. This Reaper uh, needs to get away from here. Now this is looking quite interesting. The three Ravens here with pretty much full energy. One of them has a tad bit less, but I believe we're going to have at least, uh, what, six interference matrixes? In, or... Uh, we can basically have a, a huge variation of of stuff here. There's a command center over here. I think this is going to be cancelled. At least should be, right? At least to refund 300 minerals. Maybe Han Mono... Oh, okay, there we go. There's a cancel. Nice. Tech Lab will go down. This Raven will uh, come out most likely, or maybe not. Actually, I'm not even sure about it. Uh-oh. This is really, really close, but it's not going to happen. In the end, it didn't even look that close. It felt like it's going to be close, but it is not. And now, Han Mono is actually rebuilding everything. Like, oh, there's a lot of factories over here. The barracks is going to move away. For now, there is a barracks, so there is potential to build some starports. There's three Ravens. What is going on here on this game? My good lord gracious, and Han Mono is actually just coming in and just trying to do something about this. But see, he's going to drop a couple of auto turrets here. Oh my god, look at the auto turret damage, guys. It's absolutely amazing. Auto turret is just destroying this whole base by its, on its own. Oh no, and there's no SCVs. And there's no command center. There's a single barracks. My good lord. My good lord, what is happening here? Oh my god. And there we go. The revelation for that last barracks. This is the last building, by the way. Just saying, you need to protect this building. Otherwise, it's going to look really, really ugly. Now, Han Mono is rebuilding uh, Cyclones right now. He has one base mining. And this Viking is just going to get over here and just see what's happening. Here are the Cyclones. Popping out of this uh, factory. Takes down a couple of these uh, gas mining SCVs. 
Obviously, Han Mono doesn't really want to to remake any supply depots, but I guess he's, he's going to have to? I, I'm not sure. Now, where's that barracks? That barracks should be revealed, right? Yeah. There we go. And for those who are wondering, yes, I, I actually um, put back the Korean language for my StarCraft. At least the audio. And now, is this gonna be another base trade type of scenario? What is happening here? Still, Oakham has a better uh, supply in terms of army. Han Mono has. An, okay, never mind. He's not gonna have any SCVs left after this one, I'm pretty sure. And both players are going to be revealed. I, I kind of feel like it. Uh oh. <laughs> this is such a chaotic game right now. Oh, we tried to actually drop a mule before the CC went down just to drag a bit of uh, friendly fire onto the tanks. The more damage, the better. There's no SCVs on the side of Oakham and there's no uh, money for Han Mono to rebuild anything. Now, this barracks could land and produce a couple of Marines, but there's no supply, so uh, that means it's going to be impossible. And since there's no SCVs, this barracks is useless and does the 500 minerals and 200 gas as well. Now, I believe the Ravens are going to play a extremely, uh, extremely important role in this final segment of the game. Supplies not looking great for Han Mono. Let's put the blades back on as both players have actually um, retrieved. Oh, never mind. Oh, look at this. I thought Han Mono has no money for a, for a CC. I did not pay attention to it. That is interesting. In terms of, uh, of stuff, Han Mono has more, I believe. And now the supplies are actually in favor of Han Mono. Okay, let's see. He's going to be able to actually take down this whole oh, barracks. No, wait, what is happening? Don't do this. No, it cannot repair. The game is over. The game is over. Han Mono just needs to survive. This barracks is going to survive. And Han Mono will be able to take this game. This barracks is going to burn down. And there is the no GG, actually. Han Mono takes yet another crazy TVT. Oh my god, I loved it from the first minute. Wow. <laughs> Guys, I'm pretty sure you loved it as well. Don't even tell me that you did it because I know you'd be dishonest to yourselves. Not towards me, towards yourself. Huge shout out to Han Mono actually for, for dropping these replays. It's amazing and more to come, guys. There's more replays of Han Mono and I'm I'm going to beg him for, for, for more basically. Like, this is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that sub button if you liked it. Hit that like button as well. And smash through the comments with your, your thoughts about this whole game. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.